Okay, everybody, welcome. Um, today we're gonna go over some new code. We're gonna start our buttons, or our code with our buttons. Um, we'll get, this one's a push button. It's also a limit switch button. It has a little metal piece here, mine's broken, but uh, it's a little metal piece and it's a little click here. Both of these are identical in terms of how they're coded and how they work, so they're interchangeable. But we'll work with that push button today. And I'm going to first go ahead and start setting up my motors like normal. So I'm going to go to motor sensor setup. And I need to um, name my motors. I'll just call it R motor, L motor. You can call it whatever you want. So I have R motor, L motor. It's a little bit hard to read. It's trying to get to cafe. So R motor, L motor, 393, apply. Now, you can click OK, you're fine, or what you should do right now is set up our push button as well. A push button is either on or off. So it's just like our LED, it's a digital uh, device. So it can either be on or it can be off. So in your push button, wherever you've plugged it in, go ahead and put it in there. I'm gonna call mine bump because it's like a bump switch, bumper switch. And I'm gonna call it bump and I'm going to say it's a touch sensor. It's sensing whether or not you're pushing it, you're touching it. So uh, bump is its name. Touch is the sensor type, I apply, okay. We can start writing our code. So our code before was um, to start a motor was something like this. Motor, R motor equals 127, weight, one M sec, thousand, this is just gonna be for one second, motor, our motor equals zero. And this is how you turn on a motor. Wait one second, turn it off. Okay. Compile that, make sure we got no issues. Save it something. Put in your H drive. Okay. So how do we turn this on with a button? Well, first we have to run a code that's going to loop this. All you every time you run this code, it gets to the end, you have to click start again. We want to loop this code. How do we make this run forever? Well, I'm going to make a conditional statement um, with some Boolean logic that says that we're going to say while true. This is kind of a little cheat code that just makes this code run forever. The condition is like while something will happen, do what's below this. And true is just something that's always on, essentially. So it's going to just keep running this forever. It's going to keep checking to see if your button's pressed. OK, but you don't want the motor to run forever you want the button to be pressed to run the motor. And you want that to button to be run forever to check when it's, when it's pressed. So I have to add one more statement. So I'm gonna put another curly bracket. You'll see my while gets a curly bracket, my task gets a curly bracket. And here I'm gonna write if sensor value bump, I named it bump, equals equals one, remember, one and zero is the only code for digital devices. On is one, zero is off. Now I say equals equals here. If you say equals, like if I had the LED and it was equals one, that means change its condition to one, make it one, right? So in this code, it says the motor equals 127. It means make that motor go to 127. When I have equals equals, it says check to see if it's one. Excuse me, sorry, I wrote that code wrong check to see if it's if it's one so equals equals means check the condition of it so it's checking to see if it's one um and so if that is pressed essentially what you're saying and you'll see my while statement and my if statement do not have semicolons okay you don't need them for those two lines of code i'm going to open up another bracket here now i have if this button is pressed run this code that code i need to close out so now my if statement is running and now I need to close out my while statement one. Remember, every open bracket needs a close bracket. So see, I have one to start the task, one to start the while, one to start the if, I need three closed. This may look a little confusing, but if I come up here and I press fix formatting, you'll see it lines all of my brackets up and it makes my code nice and neat. And now I see this is my start bracket for the whole code. This is the end bracket for my whole code. The while true statement, this is the open bracket, this is the close. And the if statement, this is the open, and this is the closed. So now I compile this, everything is good. I download this to my robot, 
and I press start. And then when I press the button, it'll run. So you make sure after you press start on your computer, you have to also press the button to start your code. So this is how you use a bump switch or a limit switch uh, in order to start a code.